after understanding what exactly the meaning of enterprise and what what exactly the meaning of enterprise application and how we are able to design this enterprise application after completion of all these things we need to understand the system architectures the main intention of system architectures is to define level of enterprise application or height of the enterprise application what exactly the meaning of the level of enterprise application what exactly the meaning of the height of the enterprise application that is totally depends on our requirement for example what are the various system architectures are available to design this enterprise applications the first one will be one tier architecture and second one will be two tier architecture and the next one three tier architecture in the same way entire architecture there are the system architectures we have to design enterprise applications the main intention of these system architectures is to define height or level of the enterprise application if we come for this one tier architecture it is very clear it is highly recommended for stand alone application it is not recommended for web applications and distributed applications one tier architecture is highly recommended for stand alone application because to design any application or enterprise application by using one tier architecture we have to provide user interface layer business processing layer data storage and access layer within a single mission let's say for example if you identify this is about our computer this is about our single pc here itself we have to provide user interface layer here itself we have to provide business processing layer and here itself we have to provide data storage and access layer that means within a single mission we have to provide presentation logic business logic persistence logic here itself we have to provide presentation logic business logic and persistence logic providing all the layers three layers at a single mission a single mission resources may not be sufficient automatically system may get burdened by seeing all these by by having all these main number of layers within a single mission at the same time we are providing all the three layers within a single mission so automatically this type of design is becoming as a tightly coupled design it will not provide loosely coupled design automatically it will provide tightly coupled design but as part of our enterprise application development always we are expecting loosely coupled design instead of getting tightly coupled design this is another problem with our one tier architecture moreover in the case of this one tier architecture no concept like server environment no concept like database shareability no concept like server side component shareability and there is no concept like multi user environment always we are able to provide a single user for the respective application which will not provide multi user environment in this particular scenario so due to this reason we can say one tier architecture is a highly recommended for stand alone application it is not recommended for enterprise application so this is the purpose of this one tier architecture fine in one tier architecture mainly what we are able to identify all the three layers all the three system logic layers we have to keep inside a single mission that means user interface layer business processing layer data storage and access layer all the three logic layers we have to provide within a single mission once if we provide all the three logic layers within a single mission single mission resources may not be sufficient automatically burden will be available to the mission automatically performance of the application will be reduced next one once if we provide presentation logic business logic persistence logic within a single mission automatically tightly coupled design will be generated it will not provide like loosely coupled design but to design enterprise applications in a flexible manner we need to get loosely coupled design we should not get this which one get tightly coupled design next one one tier architecture will not provide database shareability one tier architecture will not provide server side shareability server side component shareability multi user environment is not available 
one system, one software, one user. This type of environment will be available with one tier architecture. So because of these reasons only, we have to go for two tier architecture clearly. Good. If we come for this two tier architecture, inside the two tier architecture, if we come for two tier architecture, inside the two tier architecture, we will distribute our application logic over two layers of machines. Now this is one machine and this is another machine. Over two layers of machines, we are able to design this enterprise application. Here we can identify user interface layer and business processing layer. But in the second mission, in the second tier, we are able to provide data storage and access layer. In between these two, we are able to have some communication. That means in a tier one, that means this is tier one, tier one mission. Or we may specify this is a client mission. And this is tier two mission. Or this is like a server mission server mission or server tier. If you observe this one, in a tier 1 mission, we have to provide user interface layer, that means where we have to provide presentation logic and business processing layer, that means here we have to provide business logic layer. If we come for this tier 2 mission here, second mission, data storage and access layer we have to provide, where we have to provide persistence logic we have to provide. Fine. When compared with one tier architecture, two tier architecture is somewhat better. Because data storage and access layer is separated. That means user interface layer, business processing layer, both are at a tier 1. Data storage and access layer is available at, at a tier 2. That means somewhat burden will be reduced to our mission. So once the burden is reduced to our mission, automatically performance of the application will be increased. But next one. This two tier architecture is able to provide multi user environment. That means for more than one application, a single database server will be available. Single database server will provide services for more than one particular or more than one application there now. When compared with one tier architecture, two tier architecture is more flexible, but not when compared with three tier architecture. Because in the case of two tier architecture, still presentation logic and business logic both are in combined manner. Again, it able to provide somewhat tightly coupled design when compared with uh, three-tier architecture. Even though it is somewhat better when compared with uh, one-tier architecture, but it is not good when compared with uh, three-tier architecture. Because it able to provide tightly coupled design for the enterprise applications. Next one. It is a conventional architecture to prepare enterprise applications. It is a basic architecture to prepare enterprise applications. It is able to improve database shareability. It is able to provide multi-user environment. So this is clearly the two-tier architecture what we have. The main intention of two-tier architecture is mainly for the enterprise application development. Where user interface layer, business processing layer, both are separated from data storage and access layer. When compared with one-tier architecture, two-tier architecture is somewhat flexible layer. And it is a conventional layer, it is a conventional architecture to prepare enterprise applications. It is able to provide somewhat loosely coupled design when compared with one tier architecture. But still it is able to provide tightly coupled design when compared with the three tier architecture. How can we say like this? In the same mission, within a single mission, we have to provide presentation logic and we have to provide business logic. So this is about clearly the tightly coupled design what two tier architecture is providing. The main advantage of this two-tier architecture is which one? Database shareability will be improved. Multi-user environment will be provided clearly. So this is clearly the two-tier architecture we can identify. Fine. After completion of this two-tier architecture, we will go for three-tier architecture here. Inside this three-tier architecture, right? we will see this three-tier architecture clearly. Inside the three-tier architecture, we are able to use three tiers of machines. This is tier 1 machines. Right. Now it is connected with tier 2 machines. This is another one. Tier 2 machines. Now this is tier 3 machines. Tier 3 machines. Now this tier 3 mission will interact with the database. Fine. First of all, 
at a tier 1 machine we are able to provide user interface layer that means to prepare this user interface layer presentation logic we will provide here in a tier 2 machines we will provide business processing layer business processing layer in the sense it is a business logic we have to provide at a tier 3 machines we are able to provide data storage and access layer that means data storage and access layer in the sense persistence logic we have, we have to provide fine if you observe this three tier architecture when compared with one tier architecture and two tier architecture three tier architecture is able to provide more loosely coupled design how can we say it is a more loosely coupled design here user interface layer is separated business processing layer is separated data storage and access layer is separated all the three system logic layers are available at three different layers of machines there now so this is a suggestible layer this is a suggestible architecture for the enterprise application development moreover here database shareability will be improved application server environment will be available server side component shareability will be improved again moreover burden to the systems will be reduced again because of sharing our entire application logic over multiple number of machines clearly so this is called as three tier architecture this is suggestible architecture for the enterprise application development